Yo. Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a while uh, since you've seen me. Christmas was great. Spent it with family and friends. And New Year's was even better. So happy New Year because I probably haven't seen you guys since the New Year. Let me get straight to the point. Selling the cars, selling an S4, selling my BMW, and I am switching to Mazda. I just came to the realization that I am not in a state of my life where I can afford such luxurious vehicles. And I thought I could afford them, but the mileage just doesn't allow me to afford them. Because to afford a vehicle like this at this mileage, you just gotta be putting so much money into it because, you know, the car has been driven through and like you don't know what previous owners have done and how they've treated the car. So it's always a risk getting cars with higher mileage and uh, it's just no bueno, no, no bueno. So starting 2024, we're switching to Mazda. I'm gonna sell my BMW that I have in my uh, garage and I'm selling my S4 that I'm currently driving. Um, I'm still gonna be selling European car parts because uh, car parts that are European are the best to sell and make money off of which is the best way I like to run my business. Um, but for now, we're just gonna keep it to the Japanese ship boxes. I'm sorry if you own a Mazda, they're just, it is what it is, it's a ship box. It's good on gas and a brake job is gonna cost you 250 bucks. And that's what I need right now. I need something that's gonna take me around town and that I don't care about, that I can just drive into a ditch and just drive right out with a smashed door and keep driving it and not care about it. Yep. And then eventually we'll be able to get a G80 M3. That's the goal. Because there's no point, like, all the money that I'm dumping into these cars is just, it's causing me such a headache and anxiety and stress and oh, when's the next fucking thing gonna happen that's gonna break on this car and oh, am I gonna make it to my destination or my girlfriend's house without something going wrong? So yeah, sorry to start the new year with a little of a rant, but I just wanted to let you guys know what's up. Anyway, took a big break from working out and by big, I mean like four days, let's relax. But that's a lot for me. Uh, I had a workout on Thursday right before New Year's. And then Friday, I went to my girlfriend's house, didn't work out, Saturday didn't work out. Sunday was New Year's, didn't work out. Monday, New Year's day, no workout. And then finally, no, actually three days, sorry. Cause Monday, New Year's day, I came home and hit a workout in my basement, which was blessed. Uh, it was actually good to hit shoulders. <laughs> Sorry, I'm waiting on my brother and cousins. Yeah, I hit shoulders. You know, it's good. Good time, good workout. Um, but yeah, to update you guys what was going on with the business, I wish I took some vlogs because honestly it would have been such good content. But I was filling up, it's just cold right now. That's the, that's the reason why it's hard to film. Because like setting up a tripod, like an extension, battery, like the camera's gonna die in seconds. Uh, there's like just so much snow. It's not Florida guys, sorry. Um, I finally got my A4 out of my tent uh, and dumped it today. Uh, I'll actually include a clip of that. I have one on my phone, I didn't take it sideways, so it's gonna be a right side up, but yeah, take a look at the clip now. Wait, that was Leah Bradford's video, yeah. bro. No 
you to see but it's whatever uh, whatever opportunity presents itself speaking of the Audi that I was taking out of my tent so I have a little tent that I work in and the last thing I had to do was siphon some gas out of that because I didn't want to give them like I thought brand new gas 91 so I went to Square or Canadian Tire. I bought a brand new pump to siphon. I was so excited. I got like 50, 50 liters of gas, brand new, premium for free. And I thought it would be a good idea. Hey, it's what? The, I bought the car in October, November. It probably saw, sat maybe since September. So September, October, November, December, four and a half months, let's say it's sacked. I'm like, okay, this is premium fuel, I'm sure it's still good. Siphoned it out, threw it into this car, and today I got ripped on by my friends because I, they were like, what are you doing, it's old gas, it's making your car shit, car's running bad. So right now I'm waiting on these guys, I'm going straight to the gas station putting in the highest octane level which is like 94 to hopefully fix this issue and then going to hit a super nice super heavy back day uh anyway so i'll see you guys at the gym yo 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 okay so first we need to start training a little bit more conservatively because the training's been a little bit off. I think I'm just going to Macho Mono Muscle Man and I'm starting to feel my lower back kind of hurt and give out a little bit. So I need to fucking make sure I'm, I'm doing these reps right. I need to get my form down because my back has been hurting so much and just get these reps in rather than just trying to muscle this shit through. Pinch the shoulders back. Hold the chest down, head down. Fuck. Okay, so your lower back is your stabilizer muscle, just like with your core. And what I've been doing is kind of neglecting it and just powering through the reps just to get them in. And what's that doing? It's just putting so much strain on my right side because I'm right-handed. So I'm basically kind of muscling it with one side while I'm not giving enough okay. left support from my left side to equal it out. So my right is getting stressed out so much more. Oh, gotta relax with the weight this year and go for crazy reps. Put the ego away. You lift. I don't want to tell myself I lift little, but I kind of got to at this point. Mm. Right, we'll take the 25er off. Put on the 10. Right, let's see how controlled these weights are. Let's see how much we can control these bad boys. All right. Let's control this shit. All right. Oh yeah, there we go.
<sighs> oh yeah. Now we're getting hot. It's working. I need to figure out how to style this new cut. I can't go out in public without some gel or something. They look like a fucking spike ball. Spike ball. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. Gonna do one more repper set of this. And then I'm gonna move on to some underhand or under grip sort of rowing or pulling movement. Oh, buddy's trying to build that fat bunda. Okay. We're doing underhand flat pull downs. on creatine so ideally I want to stay on creatine the entire year to see how I feel look and grow and then also I want to make sure that I'm getting my form down to the T I don't want to be over lifting just the ego lift like even if I'm like like I know I can do the weight for like 12 reps but I want to make sure I can get like 15 reps maybe even and just like get each rep as like dialed as possible without injuring myself and then lastly I want to dial down on I just had it in my mind I don't know what I was gonna say actually oh yeah not giving a solitary fuck about anybody not caring about what people think, not being afraid to record because people might think I'm weird or anything like that. I'm just doing me 2024, baby. Two more. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I want to focus on 2024. Not caring what people think about me or not getting worried about when I record in the gym and not getting anxious about what people think. Just build a stronger mindset, get smarter, get wealthier. Wisdom, wealth, health. Wisdom, wealth, health. Right, I'm gonna rip this out a couple more times and then I'll see you guys in the next machine. Last workout of the night, some rows, get the form down, oh my goodness, let me guys, while I rest before I hit this, my buddy Christian just sent me the new 2024, um, how do I say this? Regulations for Canadian drivers. 
One of them, driving without insurance, cause an accident, $5,000, and license suspended for five years. Yeah, so uh, good luck uh, ever. Driving again after that. Driving through a red light, $900. Crossing two solid yellow lines, $500. Driving too slow, four hundred dollars. Just an example. Inflation is fucked. Anyway, let's do some rows and end this night finally. single hand definitely feels a lot better on those two-handed rows but two hand on the single rope feels better than the single hand on the double rope oh man I don't know if it's gonna be a late night gym shush from now on because when I start school in a week, I got a couple of 8.30 classes. I don't even know what I was thinking, honestly, but we'll see how that, those go. It's the last four months. Final stretch, ride it out, and uh, on to real life. Scary, honestly, to think about. Now what am I gonna do? I just spent all my years in school in the past half a year, I guess, starting this business. But it's not at a point where I can fully sustain myself. I can keep growing it, but I definitely still want to do something else in the meantime, and that's what's been on my mind. What am I going to do in the meantime? I guess I could study and write my LSAT. I guess I could go to law school get a law degree just to have like a profession as like a backup. I don't know. Obviously keep grinding this. Keep posting for you guys. Uh, cars, fitness, lifestyle. Cars and fitness are, you know, take two big honchos. And then we'll see what kind of business grows and thrives from this YouTube gig eventually but the thing about youtube is like it's either like this and then it takes off or it's like gradually like this and for me it's been mostly like this so i'm just waiting for that lift off and this is the hardest one to push through because you don't really see as much growth as you want but you know the growth is slowly there I just gotta keep putting out more content for you guys. That's it. Let's raise the weight. Hit two more. Sides of this. Rock with some cardio, sauna, and then uh, call it a night. Oh. Go until it burns, baby. Go until it burns. Wait, wait, wait. 
but it's still more than their loss plus a little bit of profit. Only for that period of the day. No, it usually essentially if I'm losing 40%, I'm coming back. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it, that's all. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And make sure to share. Whew. Yeah, take a drink of water. Anyway, I hope you guys are liking all the content. And check out a previous video if you haven't seen any of them. And see you guys tomorrow. Peace.